Hi, I'm Amarjit here. I'm going to create a WebDenpro application which will enable you to get some basic idea how to create a WebDenpro application. So this is my first tutorial on WebDenpro application which is a roadmap application. So SAP logon screen select the client as 800 for the IDS version we will always go with the 800 800 which is having a metadata in it so user name and password so this is our e SAP EC access screen go with the transaction SC80 which is our above development workbench so I am going to create a roadmap application Z roadmap presenter so we are getting a pop up here which is telling that mm, that particular is not exist you wanna create it yes presenter give the description like roadmap application presenter so it is asking some package where to save you can go with a, your own package or you I'm going here with local objects so double click on the component controller see here you can see this is in the display mode you can change it over here so the status change to change to contro change controller right click on the context create a node named steps presenter right click on the steps create an attribute named step which is of type string presenter save it so expand the views here you can see the first and main view double click on the main view it may ask some username and password the same username and password that you given on while you log on press ok so this is our layout page right click on the root element container insert element so first you you are going to insert the roadmap application roadmap for the uh, layout in, in the list layout so roadmap which is of type roadmap itself presenter alright save it go to the contacts see in the right side you can see uh, the contacts from the component controller and this is the co contacts of main so drag and drop the steps over here the main so you can see the step uh, in the main contacts save it come back to the layout select the roadmap application roadmap and here you can see a selected step bind that particular value to the step ok press ok so you can see the value is binded binding axis save it so right click on the roadmap and click on insert step you are going to insert the first step to the roadmap application so I am naming it as first it's a roadmap step presenter the name I am going to give is first up one if you want some description you can give this is my first view presenter so you can see the name of that particular step over here and the particular description over here in the same way you create one more step named second and which is of type roadmap step presenter same way you give the name as second and the description if you want you can give like second view presenter save it alright perfect so now you create one more element insert element named view container view container which is of type view container UI element presenter here the other views are go gonna come over here and sit over here okay so save it and one more 
it's a element named next button it's a type of button or type button so that using this button we can navigate from the first view to the second and vice versa from the second to the first in the main view itself so press enter so we can see a button over here give the text as next next and if you want you can give the design as next so you'll be seeing it's, it looks good and uh, for more perfection you can give the cell design as iPad it looks more good now save it see you can find that it is this button is disabled so go with the on action create so action is I am giving on next so it's enabled now so whenever you are going to click on this particular button this particular method is gonna process so this is the method what what will process when that button is pressed save it go to the method method list here you can see w d d o initial init so controller initial method initialization method double click on that so whenever the application runs the first time this method and method will this particular method will process so here we going to uh, set the step to first first so go with the web dent record wizard here you can see web dent record wizard click on that In the context tab there are many options like read set append go with the set click on the context select the step press enter press enter so the code wizard writes the code automatically no need of coding over here so some unnecessary parts codes we don't want those codes this and all all right uncomment this particular line and set the first step as FYRST first save it check for errors no errors found go back to the method click on on action met next or next go with the code wizard read context step so the codes get automatically created here so the the value of the step is imported to the local variable step so in the case and the case case will be step if it is first we are first when it is first it must navigate the second so set the step to second the data declaration part is already done so not required and you can delete some unnecessary codes so here we go uncomment this particular line put this second it must navigate the second and when it is for second it must navigate the first itself set context step <coughs> data declaration part is not required since it is already given the first time delete this and command here when it is second 
it must navigate to the first product save it back to the method I am creating on navigate a method called on navigate with the navigation manager manager so here the navigation from the first view to the second and second view to the first happens so first of all we are to using the code wizard I am going to read our step into this particular uh, method so the value is imported to LV step local variable LV step so use the case and case case LV step when it is first what should happen is it must navigate to the first view and when it is second it must navigate to the second view so for that the main views layout outbound plugs you create to first and to second outbound plugs save it on the view click on right click and create a first view the first view we can cr create insert an element named text text one which is of type text text view and give the text as like uh, hi all this is our first view first view uh, you can give that design as header so that it looks bold like a header save it so you can see one view is created over here under the views the same way you create one more view named uh, second view press enter insert an element text to which is of type text view to show some text uh, enter the text as uh, this is our second view press enter this is our second view we can give the design as header one so that it will look like a header save it go to the main double click on the main go to the outbound plugs we created two first and two second outbound plugs so in that same way we have to go to the first view click on the inbound and enter in first this is the inbound plug for the first view and the same for the second view inbound plugs you create in second save it so double click on the method main methods navigate or navigate so when last step here is here we were when first go to the wizard click on the tab general go with the uh, start navigation navigate the first view when it is second second go to the webdinter code wizard navigate 
to the second save it go back to the <coughs> next view at the end of so when the when the user press that particular button next uh, it must navigate to the on navigate method so go to the code wizard select the method call in the current controller and choose f4 here you can see on navigate we are calling that on navigate method from here and save it so now we want to expand the windows double click on the windows here you can see the view container the main view is having two first and two second out outbound plugins so click on view container right click embed view see here you can see view to be embedded click on f4 select the first view press enter so you can see the first view under view container in the same way you just create uh, embed view view to be embedded click on f4 second view press enter save it so you can see uh, both the views are embedded to the view container so drag and drop the first view to first to the inbound plug of the first view press enter and uh, in the same way so you can see that link between uh, the inbound and outbound plugs same way drag and drop two second to the in second press enter so mapping is done the link is already done save it all right now method on navigate perfect we done with the application save check for errors no errors no errors were found all right so click on the active activate so all this are selected press on continue to may take a bit time for activating all those components alright we activated objects are activated now right click on the road map application create web dynamo application select that so give a description like this is my first road map application so here you can see <coughs> a URL is created save it in the local objects so the application is created right click on that click on test so you can see the browser started browser is started the internet explorer comes the status is done click on log on it may ask for the authentication like username and password give the username and password that you used while the logon press ok so this is our uh, application that we designed in the web in pro we can see that we are seeing that same thing on the browser now so by automatic the first view is selected and the text is hi all this is our first view click on next the control goes to the second view this is this is our uh, second view click on again on next it will navigate the first view so we are done with the web intro application this is a very simple roadmap application that will enable you uh, to get some good idea basic ideas about web intro so thank you for watching we'll meet you in the next next uh, video tutorial bye